Hey, hey, welcome back. It's great to see you again. Um, so what is this? Yes, you're right. This is the city. And why are we looking at the city today? Because I want to introduce two things. A concept, the concept of the organism and the milieu, and a method, the method of actor network tracing. Okay, first, the organism in the milieu is the idea that an organism, like people, see, know their environment and shape their environment based on their senses. Smell, hearing, touch, taste, balance, sight, even physical presence, like how you feel yourself in the world, and how you imagine the world around you, right? This together we can call ecological awareness. From Shangri-La, we learned that technologies transform ecological habitation. So like making the environment into the home. This changes how you sense, this changes how you sense, feel, and know the world. It changes ecological awareness. So this is the idea of the organism in the milieu. So let's take a look, what has this organism, this human, wrought of its environment, of its milieu? Let's take a look now. First, you'll see buildings. These simple environmental modifications provide shelter for humans. Like we saw in Shangri-La, buildings, seawalls, environmental suits, even clothes, these are human containing technologies, transforming our ecological relations and our ecological awareness. Next, we see the rivers and the canals. These are all modified for human transportation use. These extend the reach of the city for bringing goods and food and resources. In fact, the political influence and economic power of a city can be traced in its rivers, canals, and shipping routes. Actor Network Method is a method developed by sociologists Bruno Latour, Michael Callan, John Law, and others as a method of tracing these kinds of relationships in the geography of concepts like political power and economic influence. And for example, we could trace them in the rivers or in the roads. Roads are probably more important than rivers and canals now. The technicity of wagons and coaches has ribboned and crisscrossed the land with more or less smooth surfaces for transporting goods. Humans and their technologies have transformed their milieu, transforming the land and environment. Bridges, these are great examples, making the land more permeable without bridges or boats. Rivers are significant barriers for crossing the land. Now, finally, electricity, electrification, power, this technology has truly transformed the human organism and its environment, turning night to day, making humans nocturnal creatures with perfect night vision, not to mention changing hot to cold and cold to hot. That's right, climate control, climate out of control, as we know, like Shangri-La's Japan, the waters are coming. Most cities are within two meters of sea level. Now, think about where you live. How have humans modified the environment? What technologies have they used? What actor networks can you trace? What technologies are obvious and which ones are hidden away? Can you think of anywhere in your environment that hasn't been transformed by human technological relations?